really want to thank everyone for uh, coming out on this gorgeous, beautiful early spring morning uh, to renew and reseed this uh, wonderful wildflower field. Uh, last year, the abundance of beauty and sensational natural splendor brought by the sunflowers and zinnias blossoming uh, at this intersection welcomed everyone uh, to the city of Columbia at one of our major gateways. Uh, the uh, beautiful, and Pastor Jimmy, would you come join us too, please, brother? I know you're taking pictures, so come on, just come, please, as well, um, kind enough to make this uh, beautiful piece of property available to us again uh, this year, Hope Plaza. Uh, we're, we're thankful uh, to Christ Central. Uh, the, uh, the splendor and color of this field uh, brought joy and hope, not only to citizens of our great city, but also visitors from all around the state and those from around the country, some visiting Columbia for the very first time. Uh, when visiting the site last summer and early fall, I was reminded of some um, eloquent verses from God's Word, Matthew 6, 28. Uh, it said, Consider the lilies and wildflowers of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his glory was adorned like one of these. For many, in some of the most difficult times that some of us have, um, have lived through, uh, the flowers noted in these verses, they symbolize rebirth and, and, and hope and God's promise that good things can come even during the most pressing and troublesome of times. Amid the hardship and trials visited to our city last year during the COVID-19 pandemic, this wildflower garden in many ways was representative of the simplest joys of life and nature's most recurring and resilient delights. It brought pleasure and joy to, a, to us all. Encouraged by those simple joys, we're pleased due to the beneficence of, uh, again, of Christ Central and some of our wonderful seed donors uh, this year, uh, including Susie Hayward and um, Dr. Lewis Lynn, two of our most prominent and active citizens and, and philanthropists. Uh, we've added more wildflower fields in other areas of the city this year. Uh, River Drive, uh, the south side of River Drive, right across from Norma Gardens, uh, Farrow Road, uh, just past uh, Tougaloo. Uh, Divine Street at the intersection of Croson Road and Divine and over on Bull Street uh, the folks from Hughes Development are um, doing the same at Bull Street near Colonial Drive just north of New REI. Uh, just like last year we can look forward to visiting this and the other new planting sites beginning in midsummer to witness and enjoy God's own natural beauty and splendor. I want to thank you all for covering this. Um, again, this was a, a, a unique and simple way that due to the, um, the, the, the charity of, of family members like uh, Reverend uh, Jones and, and uh, Lewis Lynn and, and, and Susie Hayward um, and some others last year, along with these amazingly talented team members of the City of Columbia, uh, who always are always thinking of ways for us to come together and um, and pull us together in some of the most difficult times. Last year was special. Uh, this year we're going to have four, four or five times of fun. So excited, um, excited for it. And just want to thank all of us here. I'm going to ask, although he won't want to say a word, I'm going to make Howard Duvall say a word, city councilman, who I think probably arguably has the greenest thumb on city council as, as well. Uh, he's a he's, uh, very talented lover of nature. Uh, to say a brief word. Thank you, Mayor. That this is a, a wonderful day, beautiful day to plant these wildflowers uh, in the city of Columbia. I was telling the crowd before we started this event that I listened to uh, an NPR program on Friday afternoon, and they were talking about the Great Sunflower Pollinator Program, uh, where they were going to be planting sunflowers all over the United States, and uh, on a certain day, they were going to look at the pollinators that were on the sunflowers. Sunflowers has the attraction for the pollinators, and that's a good way we can determine uh, what pollinators are still out there. And we can't have our crops without having them pollinated. So 
thank you for everybody that has made this possible, not only from this site, but on the other sites in the city of Columbia. And thank you for the staff for putting this program together. I think it will be something that the whole Midlands will enjoy. I think the adage is someone I'm very familiar with says, uh, what, you, what you reap is what you sow. And if, if you sow uh, love and grace and mercy and, and, and beauty, uh, then uh, you reap the beauty that we saw in people last year and we'll reap it four or five times over this year. So let's, uh, let's get to work.